love and lead indeed live exemplarily love authentically and lead relationally this is the inspired family leader program with Samuel A. Bakutana, your host, a certified executive coach, an award-winning leadership consultant, a global speaker, exceptional team builder, and author. My 18th book came out three days ago titled Busy and Loving It. Enjoy a happy life amidst stressful situations. I am the CEO of Inspired Leaders International, which is an international leadership development firm that empowers leaders to transform nations and the provincial president of the Fathers' Union. I say good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are watching us from around the world. This program exists to challenge, to equip, and to encourage specifically men so that they are in a position to expand their family leadership abilities and capabilities. Who knows? Maybe at the end of the day, we can trigger national transformation all over the world. Not just our nation here, but all over the world. And today, we are talking about the issue of a peace of mind. Many times, you hear somebody say, I am going to give you a peace of my mind. Today, I am giving you a piece of my mind. You hear somebody say, he pissed me off. I am so pissed off. Another one says, let me give you a piece of advice. The word peace. <laughs> when we do not put it in context, we may get confused what it is we are talking about. Is it peace of P-I-E-C-E -E, or it is peace of P-E-A-C-E? -E? I would like to put it to you this wonderful moment that we are talking about the latter, not the former. A peace of mind. And our topic today is peace of mind is your choice, not a right. And who is the best person to have a conversation with other than somebody who is a peacekeeper, <laughs> somebody who is a peace builder, someone who has been so much involved in Uganda, this country, here in East Africa, in many efforts of community policing and ensuring that people are so much involved in bringing about peace in their own communities. Superintendent, Senior Superintendent of Police, Afande Jackson Muchungusi, is here with us. Good to see you, Afande. How are you doing? Good to see you, my good friend. Uh, do, do, uh, have I done the right thing to shake your hand? Or oh, I'm supposed to be saluting? Uh, you know, at the end of the day, it is the same thing. <laughs> I'm honored to be here. Thank you very sir. much. Yes, sir. It's a pleasure to have you again for the second time here. Yes, sir. How is the family? Uh, the family is uh, doing well. Mm -hmm. uh, I send greetings from my dear female wife. Hey. And... Uh, <laughs> My wonderful, beautiful daughters who yes. are watching me, mm. uh, Queen Gwene Magez Professor yes. and uh, General Kanzara Kishe mm. uh, who are watching me and many mm. that we look mm. after. So yeah. the family is okay. Yeah. Is that peace of mind? Yes. yes you sir. have a peace of mind. Peace. Peace, peace of mind. You have a peace of mind. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> <laughs> wow. yes, what sir. a joy to have you here. Please go right ahead. Yes. Look into that camera and introduce yourself to the people who are viewing us today. Uh, praise God, viewers. Uh, I'm a senior superintendent of police, Jackson Muchunguzi, a member of the Fathers' Union where I'm seated with my president. I am a father of uh, very beautiful daughters. I look after very many boys. I'm a senior police officer uh, who sits at police headquarters and on my daily routine, I develop a document called the Doctrine. A doctrine is the one that sets the standards of who is an ideal police officer. We are from um, the training wing of the force, and uh, mm -hmm. it's a pleasure for a, a, a Mwarimu, an instructor, to be here to address issues of peace of mind, not pieces of mind. Mm -hmm. Warm greetings from the Inspector General of Police and uh, Afande Enanga. 
mm. our spokesperson because he's the one who is supposed to be handling such issues mm. but he said Jackson Mchunguzi you love church issues go and tell them to have the peace of mind mm. because the country is safe that's why I send you wonderful greetings <laughs> Afande Enanga thank you very much for allowing our brother to come and educate the nation about a peace of mind because all of us need that peace mm. every citizen of this country every citizen of this world needs a peace of mind mm. so thank you very much for allowing him to come and be our guest today on this uh, family tv mm. going to our topic of a peace of mind yes why is it important to have a peace of mind generally speaking good that's very wonderful first of all viewers and those followers uh, peace of mind. What is this peace of mind that we are talking about? Mm. Peace of mind generally is a state in which your brain is calm, mm -hmm. in which you are at ease, mm. you are not troubled, <laughs> and you are not overwhelming. Mm. It's good to worry, but not overwhelming. And uh, this, the, once you have that peace of mind, the yes. state of mind mm. where you find that. Uh, Really, you are not on tension mm. that you go in a bed, you don't sleep, mm -hmm. uh, you, you find that you are eating food, there is no appetite, <laughs> uh, you are worried of tomorrow, mm. eh? as if you don't believe in God, and uh, th th that is the state of mind that we want. Okay. Statistics have showed that uh, about now coming to 15 million mm. Ugandans, mm are mentally challenged. Mm. It's simply because they are lacking this wonderful medicine called peace of, peace mind. of mind. And how I wish each of you can know that something that you have less control over, mm -hmm. you cannot do anything, mm. and you choose to have a peace of mind. <laughs> that reminds me of something I saw somewhere. Yes. This gentleman asked uh, and said, okay, what is your problem? Mm -hmm. Can you do something about it? Mm -hmm. If the answer is yes, Yes. Why are you worried? Uh -huh. If the answer is a no, why are you worried? <laughs> because if you can do something about it, Better then don't worry. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you are now sure you can't do anything about it, then again stop worrying. Sure, sure. Now, when you talk about a peace of mind being, you know, a calm brain where the brain is calm, you are at ease, you are not troubled, you are not worried, you are, mm. you are not on a tension. Mm. That sounds like somebody who is uh, in the grave. Eh? Not mm. someone who is who is on earth, but someone who is on the grave. In the grave. In yes. the grave. Yes. Can you be there and you are you have a calm brain, you are at ease, you are not troubled, you are not worrying, you are not on tension. It sounds like a corpse in the grave. <laughs> Somebody must be wondering, is that possible? Uh, absolutely. Uh, that's why I was saying not over. Huh? Okay. Yeah, you must uh, most of, uh, unfortunately, I think uh, because of our economy, because of our being in a third world country, <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. People are over anxious, mm -hmm. over worried, over burdened. Over burdened. Over, and uh, there is there uh, something called over poor. <laughs> 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 and, and it is always written, you know, today, mm. I met a gentleman, well yes. dressed up, but mm -hmm. goes speaking alone. Yeah. Hmm? Ah, they would see what to eat. Okay. I said, who are those? Yeah, bananyo huh? buji. Bananyo so, buji. So, so in essence, why is it important to have a peace of mind? It is important to have peace of mind. First of all, it is healthy. Mm -hmm. That uh, once you have peace of mind, mm. uh, you cannot get some diseases. Yes. Cardiac arrest, mm. stress. You hear that somebody uh, has uh, has parked along the road and mm. the person has died. Mm. So such yeah. things can help you to overcome that. Mm. Uh, research shows that when you have peace of mind, uh, you can perform better. Yes. The level of concentration becomes so high mm -hmm. and therefore the effectiveness and efficiency mm. of uh, that individual mm. becomes very high. Mm -hmm. Most people maybe an organization are underperforming simply because People are not at peace. People are not at peace. Yes, they have pieces mm. of mind instead, <laughs> instead of having of peace, of mind. peace of mind. And therefore, it's high time that we work on them. Mm. Families are up in arms. Uh, domestic violence is order of the day. Mm. Uh, people, ha uh, people have good homes, yes. but they don't have sleep. So they, have good, uh, they have good houses but they and bad families. Bad families. And simply because of this thing. One of the things that causes somebody not having peace of mind is the ego. Mm. We discussed about here ego and yeah. its hidden costs. 
and then there is ignorance. Mm. Somebody thinks that I know it all, and therefore I should not be talked about. Mm. Ignorance has killed very many people, especially mm -hmm. us men. Mm. Uh, we suffer ignorance. Eh? You feel <laughs> that you know it all. Nobody. It is said that a, a, a man can drive off mm. the normal routine about 10 kilometers simply because he's not, he doesn't want to stop and ask. Mm. That is this the road taking the direction. direction. You are he going goes on the road, but, but he doesn't ask anybody because yes, he doesn't want to look like he's a fool. Hey, who am mm. I to ask? And such thing has caused us a problem that we must overcome. So, yeah, okay. uh, uh, another great advantage that is in having peace of mind mm -hmm. is having stable families. Mm -hmm. Families are, are broken simply because there is no peace of mind. Yes. And uh, this one has, has caused us a problem simply because of our, our, of our wrong choices we make. Mm -hmm. uh, some, to me up to now, I believe yes. that uh, heaven and hell mm. are made here on earth. They are made here. The choices that we make. Uh, of recent, I saw a gentleman who was drunk and was in a, a mwara, eh? a, in trench. a trench. And simply to me, I told them I was with my dear wife making mm. fun, going home. I said, this man is already in hell. <laughs> eh? And <laughs> then, yeah, yeah then, but when you can decide to go and mm. enjoy, eh? Eh? Once in a while, you and your mm. dear wife, yes. uh, watermelon. Miss eh? Universe. Yeah, Miss Universe, of a queen of your heart. Honorable. Hey, you go at, uh, you mm. go at uh, Nakawa, mm. uh, where they are selling cars, eh? mm. like spear motors. Mm. Enter there mm. with swagger with your wife. Mm. And again, she, and she buys and one of No, them. you bargain. <laughs> even if you don't have money. Bargain, get an invoice, go back home. You yes. would have got peace of mind. You know. You know, but some people are there. I have a friend who says that for him he cannot sleep a note until he gets 50,000. 50,000? Yes. Dollars? Uh, Ugandan shillings. Ugandan shillings. The man every in the morning he starts to look for any coin. <laughs> and when he doesn't have that money, he does not sleep. Mm -hmm. I told him you have a, a demon of money. <laughs> you are addicted to other things. And you see, the moment you know mm -hmm. somewhere mm -hmm. that you don't have a land title for yes. Kampara. Mm -hmm. Neither do you have a photocopy of mm. the key going to heaven. Mm. Please hurry, Sorori, mm -hmm. and don't be so pompous. Eh? Eh? You said you should hurry. Hey, how? you hurry, Sorori. That's the phrase I used in this new book here. Hurry, eh? Sorori, busy, kumri. Hallelujah. People have need to hurry, Sorori, if they're going <laughs> to have a peace of mind. Peace of mind. Eh? <laughs> don't think that you are going to solve all problems. Mm. Have that little that can comfort you. Mm. And uh, be at ease. If things don't work out, I mean, don't hang yourself. Okay. So what I'm hearing here is yes. largely four big things that we all need to put our hands on. Yes. Why we need a peace of mind. One, physical health. G physical good health. health, yes. Good Number health. two, mm. better concentration. Yes. Number three, improved efficiency and, and workplace pro uh, productivity. Productivity. Number four, having and building stable families. Absolutely. That's very critical. Uh, what guides me as a Christian mm. is, uh, our, uh, is the, the, the gospel in Philippians. Mm. Philippians chapter four, verse six mm. to seven. Mm. It says, do not be anxious about anything, mm. but in every situation, by prayer and petition. Mm, make with your requests known. No, no. Mm -hmm. And you shall have everlasting transcending peace upon oh, you. Yes. So, ladies and gentlemen, viewers, when things fail, don't lose out. Mm. Prayer is you. a medicine. So, Afande, what yes. are some of the indicators of a man yes. who lacks peace? Can you look at a man, observe him, and you say this one lacks peace? What are some of the indicators? Ladies and gentlemen, when you see a person who goes talking alone, <laughs> hmm? talking he's, alone. He's, he's not uh, influenced by the Holy Spirit, uh, okay. but you see words are not coming out, mm. you know that that person has no peace of mind. Mm -hmm. A person who goes into self-isolation. Self-isolation. Yes, that mm -hmm. may I, he is always there. <laughs> And uh, he does not associate with other people. Mm. Uh, you know that that person has no peace of mind. Oh, I, maybe. I thought he was leaving the crowd to go in an isolation and have his peace. You are not a spiritual intercessor. You <laughs> must be with other people. Okay. Eh? So those people, they have a problem. When you <laughs> see them, go slowly on them. Eh? Yet you hear them yes, say, I, I love my peace, so I don't mingle with many people. I uh, love my <laughs> peace, I go away. You know two heads are better than one. and Depending on the type of heads the, uh, and their quality. 
Yes, absolutely. <laughs> the, the, the person of your nature and my nature should not be having people of, yes. of no quality that can help you. Okay, so self-isolation self is the of lacking peace. Of lacking peace. Mm -hmm. Hiding the pain. People are in pain. Mm -hmm. The hearts are bleeding. And you don't, you, you don't share with somebody. Yes. It is very dangerous when you have something that is paining you, especially mm. now this is a family TV and therefore mm. our doctrine and their ideology is best that when you have stable families, mm. the community must develop yes. and must be better. Mm. Therefore, when you have any challenge that is affecting you, share it with your spouse. Tell him that you said something is hiding, is paining me. Suppose she's the pain, she's my pain, she's my problem. Then you become a pain killer. Mm -hmm. To make sure that you you solve that issue of of, of having pain all the time. Mm -hmm. Effective communication is the greatest uh, pain killer to the couples that are in too much pain. And therefore, once you walk a talk of confessing what goes wrong and you don't repeat them, mm. you be a person who is intentional mm, when okay. you, you when you own your decisions. Mm. Eh? Somewhere you become a very wonderful person. So mm. talking alone, yes, uh, self isolation, yes, hiding the pain, being too secretive, mm. eh? is very. It is a sign of. Uh, of lack of peace of mind. Mm -hmm. So those those people who buy items and hide them, eh? you don't tell your spouses. You are doing piece of, of land. He, of land eh? Building houses. This is for chikazi. You are mm -hmm. you are you are causing a problem. And therefore, it is good that when you are transacting something, uh, you must share it with somebody. It is alleged, mm -hmm. you know, we are police officers that mm -hmm. most unfinished buildings here mm -hmm. belong to people who die instantly. And yeah. they, they did not inform their spouses. Yes. You find the building was going very fast building. A person dies instantly and the building remains there simply because a, a husband or a wife mm -hmm. did not tell uh, the spouse, the spouse mm -hmm. that I have bought here a building. It is going like this. Mm -hmm. And then it becomes a problem. Mm -hmm. Then another allegation mm -hmm. is that whenever those uh, people who work alone die, their spouses sell their properties at half price simply because they did not participate yeah, in yeah. spending in the sweat in the sweat if they had participated in the sweat mm -hmm. it would be a different story mm -hmm. so that is one of the so being too secretive secretive is an indicator, is, is an indicator. Peace of mind. yes and uh, unexplained physical weaknesses eh? mm -hmm. you need to tell somebody that you know my weakness is so and so like this if you don't do that somewhere you can mm -hmm. become a problem and it, <laughs> to the society, to the family, and the people that so are So when you say it. unexplainable physical weakness, mm. are you talking about where you see somebody is perpetually weak in the physical body, but there is no disease, you can't explain, mm. but you see he's weak? He, he, the person is weak, but he's It pretending. could be coming from lacking a peace of mind. peace of mind. Somebody does not sleep, mm. somebody does not eat well, somebody is burdened by the basic needs, uh, somebody is spiritually empty, eh? mm. you know, then the, 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 that's why we normally have people who are hostile. Eh? Mm -hmm. You meet somebody and he says, mm -hmm. I mean, you ask yourself, what's the problem going where? Eh? You find some <laughs> somebody saying, look at them. Mm -hmm. Now who are they? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I think that weakness should be mm -hmm. fought and we make sure that we... we are, when you confess, I think it is the Bible. You know the Bible better than me, being the father of... Uh, the president of the Father's Union. You, there is a, 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 there's somewhere where, where, where they say that, uh, that a confession yeah. is a possession. Mm. When you confess peace of mind, you will have it. James chapter 5 verse 16. Have confess you had to one another, to one another so that you may be healed. Uh -huh. Because like, the prayer of a righteous man avails much results. Hallelujah. Mm. Repeat that one and I hear. James, James 5 16. Yes. Uh, that confess to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed because the prayer of a righteous person produces great results. Hallelujah. You know, did you know that when you, some people believe that when you confess to one another, mm -hmm. as the scripture says, they think that they bewitched you. <laughs> when you <laughs> confess you are uh, that you are, are weakling. Uh, 
Ah, uh -huh, they say, uh, you look at this man, he, mm. he's bewitched simply because you are happy with your spouse. Mm. Like when they see you smiling with the uh, watermelon, yeah. they think that watermelon finished you. Yeah. But, but they forget Not that. Not knowing we finished every, each other. We finished each we other. Finished each other and every day, life is becoming better. Yeah. So no, that's why I normally say, okay, you say that uh, she bewitched me. Mm. If she bewitches you, you buy a plot of land. If she bewitches <laughs> you, you produce good children. Mm. If she bewitches you 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 go to church That's if she be, if she bewitches you they invite you on such a talk show mm. and you talk with people of substance mm. why can't they add a dose mm. eh? they should add a dose so that you become a responsible person all right peace of mind yes is a choice okay but not a human right it's not a human right absolutely you saying i need a peace of mind ah, no government way. government should come out and give us a peace of mind it's your choice i normally equate this i use uh, the example of a buffet mm. peace of mind is a buffet mm -hmm. you what you you have a right to choose what is there pick peas hey, or some peas or... what others pick five pieces of chicken so it's you to choose what you want and some people even lose peace by choosing everything there uh, that is now it, that is now dangerous <laughs> it will be another episode <laughs> i think another <laughs> indicator is coming into my mind as yes, clear this yes yes is mixing up issues i i recently i heard about a man mm. who got the the child from home took the uh, took the child mm -hmm. to office and reported at at work i mean at school instead of taking the child at school and mm. reporting at office, at office he took the son at his office, then drove to school. <laughs> Instead of opposite. taking the son to, to, off, to, 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 uh, to the school, school and took, driving uh, to office. So mixing up issues. I think that's another mind. indicator. It's an indicator. That confusion. Somebody, uh, Actually, I had wanted to call it confusion. Mm. You, you ask somebody that what is six, he calls it nine. Mm. You, you tell Depends somebody, uh, 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 you tell somebody an automatic issue that this is red, the man is telling you blue. You know that that person is lacking peace of mind. Oh, it's and, just an uh, optical challenge. Yes, he and you an see, challenge, you see, it. when somebody lacks peace of mind, mm. there is a lot of destruction. Mm -hmm. The other day, a person called me. He said, "You see, Jackson, you went on TV. You said mm. we shouldn't beat these wo women. Mm. Now my woman went out for mm. so long. She has just come. Mm. I never wanted to to fight with her, with her, yes. but I've killed the dog." I said, "What? What? Yeah, hey, guy killed the dog." I said, "Now that is temper tantrum." Ah, hey, that was, uh, he said, I've broken glasses, what, what, man, peace of mind, Be, and you see, it is affecting <laughs> more, by the way, Sam, you need to, mm. most of well-to-do people yes. are suffering this thing, mm. it's because of greed, because they want to grab everything. Oh, it's they, because of the poor people they employed, no. who are also taking away their peace of mind. And this is where I, I, I like late General Aronda. Yes. He used to tell us that uh, the rich are not sleeping simply mm. because the majority poor are awake. Are awake. And uh, if you, you don't uh, be free with them, it mm. may be turning against you. Another one so, said that if... It, if we don't look after the poor and help them also become rich, a time is coming when the poor will remain with nothing else to eat apart from the rich. Have you heard? Now that will be, we shall charge them of cannibalism. Let's go so. ahead. <laughs> Why is there no peace of mind for many men? Yes. Why are they losing a peace of mind? Because mm. we've, we've seen that uh, it's good for them, it gives them good health, they concentrate better, it improves on their productivity, it, it helps them to build a uh, stable families, but then now they don't have that peace of mind. And when you look at them, you see it. You see people talking alone, they are isolated, they are hiding their pain, they are so secretive, they mix up issues, they are always perennially weak, they are distracted. Why is there no peace of mind among many men? Paul is related to Ephesians chapter 5 verse 15. It reminds us and encourages us that we should always be, eh? we should be careful. How we live. Because these are evil days. Therefore, man is naturally supposed to, uh, to, to, to be the head of family. Mm. And uh, once he tries to uh, take the position and provide for his family, uh, to avoid the allegation of thinking that you are growing by age and physical kilograms, uh, you find that he's scared of unknown future. Okay, yeah. so there is no peace of mind among Simply many because men because 
the, the, the fear, the future. Tomorrow, fear of the future. Of, of tomorrow, what will mm. happen if I'm not there? Mm. And uh, this one affects us so much. This one, yeah, you know, we need to be gender sensitive. Mm. It affects both parents, mm, of my, my husband and wife. And uh, we are always uh, toiling and hustling. Mm. The hustlers, the, the life becomes so hard. Uh, so it is always good that we can save and invest and put systems that can look after the entire family continuity. Mm -hmm. Another thing that uh, makes uh, most men lack peace of mind mm -hmm. is, for example, lack of failure to provide okay. basic needs like school fees. We are in a, mm -hmm. a season of school fees. You find you haven't paid. Yes. Uh, somebody is uh, malicing you at workplace. <laughs> your boss is not paying you. Mm -hmm. uh, or somebody has embezzled your, 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 your allowances. Mm -hmm. Life is like a box. Therefore, lack of failure to provide the basic needs is also a greatest thing that makes man lack peace. Mm -hmm. uh, but we normally encourage people that uh, when you are handling these basic home issues yes. with your spouse, mm -hmm. uh, when you have a common ground, mm -hmm. it becomes so easy and life becomes easy. But when you want to become a specialist mm. uh, and you want to be Alpha and Omega, a mm. title that was reserved for God alone and then mm. you impersonate it, mm -hmm. uh, you will suffer lack of yeah. peace of mind. Yeah. So you can explain. Go to the headmaster and tell him, uh, you know, you are also a parent, I have failed to get money, but I expect that I will get like this. Mm. When you are sincere, things will work out mm -hmm. because they are human beings. Then absence of relationship with God. Mm. A family without God is eh? mm. doing badly. I'm from a Christian background, yes. as you know, that uh, we are active in church issues, mm. simply because church and religion remain the noble and invaluable ideology that any human being mm. should have. Mm. Blessed is a man or an officer or a VIP mm. that fears the road. Mm -hmm. Because when you fear the road, it is the beginning of everything. Mm. So you see me, uh, I was reading this wonderful book, eh? The agony of a rising star. The agony Mo of a rising star. If a rising star like me. The story of success from a humble beginning. Beginning. Agure Wunyi. Oh, mm. When you read this book, you will know that it is really very paramount for you to know that God is there. Mm. Some of us are self-made stars or celeb of our own. And we don't forget where we have come from. Mm. Because we know where we are. And we are very sure that tomorrow is, is there. So it is a methodology. Lack a peace of mind, mind because, because they, they have don't no know relationship with their creator. Where they are creator. Mm -hmm. you, you find somebody saying that I don't fear anybody. Ah. I heard somebody say report me to God. You hear. <laughs> <Not, I heard laughs> so hard. And he doesn't know God can come. <laughs> he was laughing at them, but you know God forgives us seventy seven yeah. times in a minute or in, yeah. in a day. Forgiving seven So he, I mm -hmm. think he forgave him. He said, "Look at this uh, Pan Africanist who is <laughs> <laughs> who is doing." So mm -hmm. that uh, God is very paramount. Then having mm -hmm. nagging and violent spouses, okay, is the greatest punch that can make you, however rich or big you are, mm -hmm. to lose the momentum. A nagging, a, a nagging spouse. Eh? Mm. is very dangerous. And then you ask yourself, if you thought that marriage was uh, for weak-hearted, mm. you would have become a Catholic mm. nun, nah, no. <laughs> eh, or a brother. A monk. Eh, well, so, but once you know that you have got this adult, and love has directed you that you should stay together, mm. ladies and gentlemen, adjust. You know that you are shareholders, you are stakeholders, in a, a project called marriage and family, mm -hmm. and therefore you, you are adults who are staying together, yes. you cannot reason together. You have different backgrounds. Mm -hmm. eh? I have a different background from my Kebson Rukunjiri approach. Mm -hmm. And my dear wife, Maharaba Zagaba, has her approach from her where to do schools and the Ntungamo approach. <laughs> so at times we disagree. Eh? Mm -hmm. eh? The other day, my children said, Daddy, you are very bright, but the way you express yourself, it is full of chinyankore. I said, it is because <laughs> <laughs> me, I grew up in a village, man, and you cannot change it, uh, but I will improve. So mm. over time, you see, I've changed now some accent mm. to make sure that things can work out very well. <laughs> so, so many <laughs> men have no peace of mind because so of nagging spouses. A wife who asks you that, where are you? Mm -hmm. That where you are, there is no noise. Mm. 
Could you be in a roach? <laughs> you are there with your I'm not people. hearing noise in the background. That is, you why, in that is why I normally ask spouses mm. that when did you become a police detective mm. where you ask complicated questions that can cause a uh, conviction of somebody. It was eh? the day when I started to suspect things I don't like. You, you get me? Eh? Eh? Yeah, but even some spouses are also not easy. Mm. Those who go and uh, put apps in your phones like mm. deleting after after one day, one hour. Mm. Why are you deleting automatically? To create more space. No way. More, more they're, space. They are hiding. <laughs> yeah. eh? Those who are saving female names in the names of mayor. Eh? Mm. You see somewhere Bakutana is, uh, is sending a Sharon. message when it is Sharon. You will never see the kingdom of God or oh, the oh, gate yeah. because you see you are pretending and you don't have peace of mind. Mm. They are even worried because those who put in passwords and forget them. My friend. <laughs> You put a password that is like uh, boundaries of uh, like a map of China. Of, of a governor of a bank. Oh, right? you, you get me? A, a man without uh, a billion, but you are putting a big password in your... <laughs> it is a very... 10,000 yes. on yeah? your mobile money account. Another thing somewhere that mm. is causing most men lack peace of mind mm. is unpreparedness for some seasons. Yes, unpreparedness. For some season. A season mm. like retirement mm. eh? for us we are always prepared that the moment you take on office you'll mm. be prepared to live tomorrow yes hey we are always on transit mm. but you find somebody is addicted he the thinks job. that he will never go away mm. they even develop a feeling that without them things can't work out who yeah. told you <laughs> it is only your neighbor that has a marking guide but mm. not you <laughs> yeah? so you must know that once you are not the first let me be clear. And even as your neighbor, the, the workers, uh, they come and go. Yes. The employers are uh, changed. The bosses are changed. To one time, we had somebody called uh, uh, Bossa signing. Uh, yes, on our draw the certificate. We now have somebody else. Somebody so else. Yeah. With the marking yeah. It also changes. Yes. I normally tell fellow police officers and comrades that you are not the first person to be in that public office. Neither will you be the last person to be there. Therefore, use that time that you are in that public office mm. to influence, to mm. inspire, mm. to add value to those who will be there. For a season, it is a season. For a reason, so, on yes, a mission. On a mission, yes. whatever, you have yes. a very good formula. Mm -hmm. So that when you will be no more, those that will be there in that office, mm. what will they say that you were there? Okay. I always feel proud, like in the last graduation, mm. police constable was sending me messages that on your DPC parade, used to inspire us to go back to school yes. and today we have graduated, we have graduated with bachelors and what i said even if i leave police mm. i have impacted life mm. i feel i have helped somebody yes. the other day i entered in a taxi mm. from here to entebbe road mm. and when i was getting out a taxi conductor said i found it mm -hmm. you helped don't us pay. Don't, pay. don't pay i said how did you know i'm a fan that you helped us when they had got us you a dpc ginger road yeah. i said had I extorted from this person yeah. or done something wrong, <laughs> the guy would have overcharged me twice. Probably. So I know my fear. And that would have tomorrow. taken away your peace and of my, mind. My peace of mind, I would be now confused. Coming from unpreparedness for some seasons. Yes. Mm. Uh, another thing after that, failure to organize our seasons, mm. uh, the evil they do. The people, the, uh, the men, the evil yes. they do take, takes away their uh -huh. peace. Whatever you do, any action has a reaction. Mm. Eh? The law of what? Eh? of action and reaction mm. it is very uh, actual yeah there is another one called the row of boomerang mm. that what you do comes in triple well, yeah so you if you are there enjoying bringing people down mm. they will also bring you down one day in mm. triple what you measures is what you, is what you leap so you find that you see that's why i always say that what i don't uh, control i leave it eh? mm. Hey, it's bad to find that you, you, you are on both sides of life. <laughs> Very bad. I hear you. Yes. So, so I've heard people say, mm. you know, we brought peace. We brought peace. And others say, yeah, we are voting for so and so because he brought us peace. Mm. So for me, I think that by, by implication, it means that someone can bring peace to you or someone can take away peace from you. Mm. So then, why do you come in and say, that peace is a choice, not a right. Yet it sounds like somebody can actually take away your peace or give you mm. peace. Where, where are you coming from saying a peace of mind mm. is a choice, not a human right? 
Yeah, uh, and uh, as I said, because you see this is a very technical concern now, <laughs> especially when you say people say they bring, they brought peace. Yeah, they brought it. No wonder we are here now. So somebody can take it away. So then yeah. it's not my choice. Uh, you see, mm -hmm. somebody <laughs> they, can give it me or take it away. Using different theories, eh? yeah, yeah. we define this way. Mm. But according to socialization approaches, uh -huh. it is your choice. Yeah. But when it becomes the militaristic yes. and the political issues, it's not my choice. It may not be so your in choice. other words, this becomes not now. Yeah, it, it keeps the dynamic. Eh? <laughs> and uh, now uh, from the community policing doctrine mm, mm. and uh, the ideology of neighborhood watch mm, mm, we mm. encourage you to make sure that you have peace of mind as a choice mm. but don't uh, cross again mm. in where you are going to cause insecurity you know the the the, the, the peace you are referring to mm. is the peace of security mm. when there is insecurity now somebody must come in like police army to bring peace eh? yes and once you bring peace, you allow Ugandans to enjoy it. Mm. Like now Ugandans are enjoying peace. Eh? Mm. You go downtown, jam. Mm. It is a Saturday, but people are busy. Mm -hmm. I passed on the most clubs happening places. People mm. are enjoying yes. their peace. That, that, eh? that makes me curious. Yes. To want to ask. Mm. By the way, as we talk about all these things of peace of mind, yes. you define the peace of mind. Mm. You talked about why peace of mind is important. Mm. You talked about the indicators of a man who lacks a peace of mind. You've talked about why some people don't have that peace of mind. Yes. Can we first cut off two words of mind and mm. we stay with the word peace? And yes. curiously tell me, mm. how do you define peace? What is peace? Absence of insecurity. Absence of insecurity. Okay. Peace is absence of... We may want to also ask about what do you mean by insecurity? Insecurity. Is, is, is it where there are, are no bullets around the... Insecurity. Yes. If I don't have, if I don't have a meal at home, am I secure? No. If I have not paid school fees, no. am I secure? No. If I have nowhere to sleep, I'm sleeping in a pipe, am I secure? So when you talk of peace as an absence of insecurity, what do you mean by insecurity? Okay. Uh, uh, generally, the state is always there to ensure that there is peace, mm. there is security. Mm. And uh, it is the duty of the citizen mm. to ensure that there are basic needs that we promote what we call human security. Mm -hmm. Human security like having food at home, mm -hmm. having like this peace of mind. Yes. Now we add the other one mm. to, to have that one. So when the, 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 the for example, the country mm. is not threatened mm. by its uh, sovereignty. Mm. For example, there is nothing that is threatening the boundaries of the country. Yes. It means that there is somebody who is preventing it, yes. and that is our mighty professional ethical poor people, UPDF. Mm. And then when they usher eh, that mm. skeleton of making sure that we are not threatened outside and inside, they give us to an institution called the Uganda Police Force, mm. whose cardinal role is to enforce law and order, mm. to ensure that there is no crime, mm. eh, to ensure that they detect. We are the only institution that we detect on the suspicion that you are about to commit a crime and we get you. Preventive arrest. Preventive arrest. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> then, uh, cooperating with Wanainchi, like fellow Christians here, mm. eh? like what we are doing, we cooperate with you to ensure national development. Mm. So it is the duty of Wanainchi and us, Bam eh? mm. <laughs> those who are in armed forces family, to ensure that we maintain peace. Mm. When there is no peace, I'm telling you, we cannot be even seated here. So peace is the absence of insecurity. If insecurity, insecurity is, is, a, is when the political in nature uh -huh, can be, can be in, in, in nature. Based. Yes, it okay. is a, a complex thing, and that's why we normally say it is even. A, it we should it, um, put it among the the best things eh, mm. that we need in life to survive. All right. Mm. So, talking about the things that take away the peace of mind. Mm. I uh, domestic violence is one of those major thieves of mm. peace in many yeah. families mm. for both men and women. In mm. fact, the rate is increasing. Yeah. The rate of domestic violence is increasing mm. and it's increasing on both ends. Domestic violence against men, mm. domestic violence against women, domestic violence against, against children, children. Yeah. Against domestic the, violence. Yeah. I, I know people 
tend to fall in love with the word gender based violence when mm -hmm. sometimes it's just character based violence mm -hmm. uh, so i will not call it gender based violence i will simply call it domestic violence mm -hmm. what are some of the causes of this violence that is increasing in our homes it, it is a pity that most people don't uh, respect uh, one of the greatest cornerstone of uh, society development mm -hmm. called family Mm -hmm. And uh, once family is uh, shaken, once family is not doing well, even if you have military might, machines, even if you have highest level of uh, educated population, even if you have actually most of the resources like oil or what, but when family is not doing well, mm -hmm. then there is a problem. Yes. I normally ask myself, you saw somebody. Mm -hmm. Once you called darling, sweetheart, mm -hmm. watermelon, Sweet everything. Oh, the person, the only being the, the remaining, only been remaining the, the only words, flower in my garden. You can tell all of them. Hey. The person that once you told all those words simply because of a poor issue at hand, like poor communication, explanation, mm -hmm. and you grab that lady, or you grab that gentleman, mm -hmm. and you hit on the head, you are just a monster. So what so is causing from, that? What from is all causing that, that situation? From that situation, first of all, I normally put it to poor communication. Mm -hmm. If you cannot communicate a situation mm -hmm. effectively, mm -hmm. you are finished. If your wife says that I want money for saloon, mm -hmm. I want brings with brings to you a list of items, mm -hmm. and you don't have money, explain. Yeah. There are some spouses where you spouse where you find that uh, uh, one of them does not know the salary or the mm. income mm. of that person. Yes, that is very dangerous. It means you are pretending in days of crisis. Somebody, she's not somebody there. watching you is right now saying, What's wrong with that? Can you imagine mm -hmm. you, you have no peace of mind and mm. you will suffer domestic violence mm. and you will die of stress? But when, for example, my wife knows mm. my income. Mm. When I get uh, any money I get, mm -hmm. say, Madam, this is the money here. Mm -hmm. He gets three quota. A quota is mine as well. But <laughs> you will be aware. You get me? Yes. So, failure to communicate makes life so hard. Mm -hmm. Then I think as we end this program, she yes. needs to say hi because she's around. I would be glad really yeah. for her to also come and uh, greet uh -huh. them. So, so, so my brother are, behind the camera uh, kind of yes. where... Yeah. Uh, I found as a lady is yes. seated, uh, so allow her to come in the studio as we end. Right now we have about eight minutes to go, so yes. let her come close at the uh -huh. end, she will say hi. <laughs> and I will also see, be having who gives another surprise for, for the viewers Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> so, as we are continuing to discuss on so causes poor communication, of the poor causes communication, then uh, I, I don't agree with the poverty. Mm. Because but it causes we, domestic uh, violence. But because we have seen rich people killing each other. Exactly. Yes, so yeah. it is... Uh, <laughs> it is just ego eh? mm. that is causing problem mm -hmm. that people don't explain to themselves okay. and the uh, life becomes so much and mm. uh, it becomes like that domestic violence is also caused by greed mm. eh? greed mm. is a dangerous thing mm. it has uh, it has caused problem eh? yes you find somebody you know i normally ask a question that how much is too much how much is too much how much is too much mm. you are there you want to grab everything yeah, as if there is a big problem. So we need to make sure that we make things very right. Yes. Be contented. Mm. A person who lacks content, being contented is, is, is a very big problem to the society. Yeah. Yeah? So if we, we start to take on a mentality of contentment, yes. we are highly likely to reduce or even eliminate violence in our homes. In our yes. Yeah. And uh, learn to forgive. Mm -hmm. eh? Failure to forgive. Mm. There is a person who cannot forgive. Yes. Eh? And you ask yourself, then they keep even referring to the past mistakes yeah. that you have started in the 2023. You, you remember? You remember? In 2019. Hmm. It's like that. I How remember it was in September. Hey, why do you keep The things you did. <laughs> you now keep, you are repeating. You keep a history of wrong <laughs> things. You forget that yeah. every day we are growing oh, old. Yes. So, mm. me and you of yes. 22,000 mm. are not the same people of, of today. Yeah. And, and not are we going to be. Us, uh, to 20, 15, yeah. 20 years from now, yes, yeah. we will he be will looking will different. Be, be, hallelujah. Yeah. I, I love I will that. still be looking like a dude to my wife. Who will be? As I am a duke to somebody. Hello. A king. She calls me a king. My wife yeah. calls me a king. I hope you call without, her a queen. Uh, without a kingdom. I thought that, man. <laughs> Six minutes to the end of the program. Yes. Going forward, my brother. Yes. What should we 
as men mm. do to achieve a peace of mind after that you will give your parting shots what should we do going forward mm. especially as men leading families yes in order to achieve a peace of mind uh we should know that uh, first of all a peace of mind is a kind of a basic need mm -hmm. and it's high time that we need it mm. because of its advantages yes uh we need to ensure that uh, we promote it mm. even to our children we confess it to them yes we tell them that you see you should not be fighting here and there mm. the moment we strengthen family mm. everything can work out mm -hmm. a person without peace of mind is a problem even at workplace <laughs> he's barking yes. at workers he, 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 the, you greet him, he's looking at you like a missed call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you say, you have brought all your problems here. Yeah. Eh? So you become even a problem. About to, 20 years ago, I yes. greeted somebody in the morning, said, good morning, madam. And she turned and said, what's good about this morning? can imagine. Never so, forgotten. So, so, so you, good morning, what's yeah. good about this morning? He doesn't know that you even greeting he, uh, her mm. was, uh, was also a great thing. So, once we control all this, mm. life will become so much better. Yeah. We shall, uh, you, you know, work towards our, our development mm. and uh, things will be very, very okay for us. Yeah. So that we can be remembered for that. What mm. epta do you create every day when you will be not there mm -hmm. somewhere? Mm -hmm. What shall we remember about you? Mm. Like for me, really, you inspire me a lot. Eh? I'm glad. And yeah. You said that uh, on many, many occasions, even without your permission, me, I even appreciate. tell them, even when I meet policemen, I say, this you must it. live, yeah. love, and lead. And lead. Live. Yeah. Exemplary. Exemplary. Love. That was Authentically. Sound. <laughs> and lead relationally. You, and the, you, when you want to do much better, viewers, mm. you must walk a talk of what you say. Walk the talk. Walk the talk. Personal yeah. Don't come here and say domestic violence, come mm. with facts, yes. do what pose with a police uniform. Then, then when you go home, you start to beat your wife. Five for the ministry. Now, now you say, who is this? Eh? They, then those who normally say, do as I say, not mm. as I say. Eh? That theory does not work. Mm. You must walk What talk. works is monkey see, monkey do. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes. So I'm <laughs> glad that we do that. And uh, once we have that peace of mind, mm. uh, things will work out for us awesome. and we shall be glad. Let me request Mrs. Muchunguzi yes. to write, just come right here yes, in yes. the middle here. And say hi to the viewers. Uh -huh. yeah. You know, when I was going to marry her, uh -huh. I told the Inspector General of Police that I'm uh -huh. going to marry Muzungu. Uh -huh. And he. Uh, and, uh, give general, me a high five. Uh, give me a high five, my general sister. Pari, <laughs> good to see you. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> You're well? Yes. Amazing. Yes. Good to have you here. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming with this wonderful and, and thank you for the, well, this yeah. wonderful program. Why yeah. not? Thank yeah. you very much yeah. for I'm appreciating. just proud of these yeah. yes. Mujiri men. Yeah. <laughs> The horror of don't spill the beans. <laughs> <laughs> so say hi to the viewers. Yes. <laughs> yes, hello viewers. Mm. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank mm. you for listening to this wonderful program. Mm. I, I was also watching. Mm. It was educative. Yes. I loved it. Yeah. yeah. Do, 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 they, they are shaking hands. Thank, thank you. Thank do, you. Do you have a peace of mind? <laughs> <laughs> no, very smart in butterflies. Peace of mind. <laughs> All right. So thank you very much for coming. Hey, we appreciate it. Okay. Hey, thank you so yeah. much. You're welcome. Wow. And uh, I have. Uh, uh, I have a surprise also for the for the viewers. Wow. Uh, let me request my surprise you to can come see, close here. You can see how I'm on attention <laughs> for the arrival <laughs> of VIP. Behold, ah. Miss Universe, the queen wow. of my heart, honorable charity, my watermelon that I often talk about. Please say hi to the viewers. Wow. <laughs> Hello, viewers. What an honor to be here mm. on this beautiful, powerful program. Indeed, thank you guys for empowering men. Mm -hmm. I want to inform you that also the women are being empowered. Mm -hmm. Yes, I want to leave you the scripture. Mm -hmm. It is in First Corinthians chapter thirteen, mm -hmm. from verse one, from verse four actually to mm -hmm. seven. Mm -hmm. It talks about love, and love is the the best peace mm -hmm. for the peace of mind. Yeah. One of the verses, That's one of the words, mm -hmm. <laughs> one of the verse, uh, the words say that. Love keeps no record of wrong. Mm. <clears throat> and when you keep no record of wrong, you have peace because yes. your heart is clear. Mm. Have a good night. Awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah.
Wow. Love you. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have got outstanding. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that has been the Inspired Family Leader Program with wow. Samuel E. Bakuta, your host, a certified executive coach and award-winning leadership consultant, a global speaker and author. Today, hosting Senior Superintendent of Police, Fande Jackson Muchunguzi, talking about peace of mind being a choice, largely being a choice and not a right you should be demanding. So, a lot of things can be happening around you. The, in the environment, there could be a lot of things happening that have the potential, the capability, the capacity to steal your peace, to take away your awareness, to destroy your welfare. But it is incumbent upon you, as we have talked about today, to think about the things we have talked about and deal with them, especially the things that take away peace. A fear of the future, failure to provide for your family, absence of a relationship with your creator, unpreparedness for some seasons of your life, the evil that you may be involved in. Deal with these things so that you can have a peace of mind. Mm. And like I said at the beginning of this program, three days ago, my 18th book came out, Busy and Loving It. Enjoy a happy life amid stressful situations. You need to learn how to enjoy a happy life, having a peaceful mind, even when you are surrounded by stressful situations. It is more than possible. Tomorrow, see you, Church of the Resurrection of Gorobi, as we talk about the principle of self-investment in the three services. Live, love, and lead. Men, who are you? What do you seek to achieve in your personal life? By the way, when did you become a man? And if we talked with your wife, what would she say about you? And when your children look at you, what do they see? Do you know what makes you tick? What makes you unique? What makes you basically you? Are you living a life of impact? Are you living a life of influence? Are you living a life of significance? Introducing to you the inspired family leader, an interactive, provocative, and inspiring show that is going to challenge, that is going to equip, that is going to encourage men to strengthen their family leadership for national transformation. The inspired family leader with Samuel A. Bakutana every Saturday here on Church of Uganda Family TV. Live, love, and lead. This is Church of Uganda Family TV. Enriching lives. Family TV.